actually, spiders aren't so bad. No, they're not that bad. I think we both find them very fascinating. I know that not every other homeowner out there feels the same way. Not every backyard farmer host feels the same way about <laughs> spiders. But perhaps after some education, we can change people's minds. So yeah. let's start with what are some of the common spiders in and around the house? Okay, so we typically divide spiders up based on how they catch their prey. So we've got web building spiders that use their silk and make these intricate nets to catch their prey. And then we've also got active hunting spiders. So they stalk out and seek their prey without building a web. Some of the web building spiders are like the orb weaver. You can find in a natural setting when you're running through the woods, but also they show up on your porch near the porch lights. Another type of web builder would be the funnel weaver, also known as the grass spider. They construct a silk sheet that has a tube that runs down it, down into the turf or into a shrub, and then they wait at the bottom of that for their food to tumble down into them. So it looks a little different than the orb web. The orb web is flat, kind of hangs up in the air, and it's got spiral circles in it that are all sticky for the spider to catch their food on or to hang out on. But what about cobwebs? That's another possible web option. Oh yeah, so those are the webs that are really disorganized, kind of a sticky mess, often in corners of the room, garages, basements. Those are done by the American house spider or different spiders that are in there, cellar spiders. What about um, those active hunters though? Tell me about those. Active hunters are really neat. They're usually big spiders, usually two to four inches wide with their legs all included. It can include things like the wolf spider or the fishing spider. Wolf spiders, they are pretty common out in the landscape. We can see them in the house. They're big and brown usually. Some of them have stripes that go down their back that are brown or orange, depending on the species. With fishing spiders, they're really large, about four inches wide, and they have really stripy legs and kind of speckled abdomens. But despite their size, uh, we don't really need to worry about these particular spiders, right, Jody? Right, they're actually a free form of pest control. They're natural enemies and predators. They'll take care of a lot of the bad bugs that we don't like. So they take care of mosquitoes and flies and moths, anything that fly around us when we're outside at night. But there are some people that don't like spiders around, so how can they take care of that? If people are worried about spiders, they can try and take some preventative measures to make sure that there's not food. The reason they're in and around the house is because there's something for them to eat. So for orb weavers and some of those other web builders, if you switch light bulbs outside or turn the lights off at night, there'll be less food for them and they'll be less interested in building around your house. So switch to a low sodium bulb or an LED type bulb, that'll help. Uh, what about some of those active hunters? Yeah, so modifying the environment will really help, um, decreasing some of the vegetation and also the lighting will help with that. But if you've got um, a lot of crickets or prey or different outdoor pests, then you will get spiders. If you don't want them in the house, you want to pest proof and make sure you've got no gaps around the doors and windows, and that should help a lot. If you want to also break down some webs, there are brushes that you can get with really long handles that you can knock down their webs, maybe give them a little hint that they're not welcome there. You can also try sticky traps indoors if you've got some spiders coming in. That's a good, safe way to try and catch spiders. Set it next to the baseboard and they follow those and then they'll end up on your trap. But by and large, you don't really need to spray for spiders, right? Right, it's not really effective. You wanna just minimize the prey to get rid of the natural enemies. So really, we should probably just leave them alone or relocate them if we can. Absolutely, catch them, take them back outside and let them go. Hopefully they don't come back in. We want spiders around. They're an indicator of a healthy ecosystem. They're our eight-legged friends and we should want to have them around and help us to control some of those pests.